spirit on the dotted line Let Philadelphia freedom ring And patriotic voices sing Red, white, blue, never give up You represent America Living and praying for a brighter day I listen to my heart and I obey Living and praying for a brighter day Today on Liberty's Kids, we are the good citizens of Philadelphia. We're the real patriots. The rich people are not playing by the rules of our new country. All we want is a fair shake. We must fight the Americans. Why should we honor the Treaty of Camp Charlotte? The Americans haven't. They burn our fields. They cut down trees. They slaughter game for sport. I am with you. I'm with you that there needs to be justice for everyone. But this isn't justice. This is wrong. It's freedom, sir. American freedom. I've traveled the world and there's nothing like it anywhere. And you, sir, are you an American? Sarah, this is a mistake. The journey will take months. That's why I've hired a fine, dependable guide, Mr. Pettyjohn. And Ohio is wild. Bear, Sarah, wolves! It's the frontier. It's uncivilized. You know I appreciate your concern. But neither Mother nor I have had a letter from Father in years. We must find out if he's all right. I must find out. That's twice what carrots cost me a few weeks ago. How am I supposed to feed my children? Yes, Peter, I know you're hungry. I'm ready, please, Mr. Pettyjohn. Wait for me! Sarah, wait! Do we have to shout it in your face? We're worried we'll never see you again. I look forward to introducing you to Father. <laughs> At least let me come along to protect you! two days. I'm so hungry. Oh. I'll just rest for a moment. Oh, Father, where are you?
I am Cornstalk. No one will hurt you here. You're free to go. You're free to stay. Some white people stay. I will leave as soon as I'm stronger. I am glad you've come at this important moment. The meeting will begin soon. Running Deer found a white girl unconscious in the woods. She's scared of me. I will take you to her after I greet the other chiefs. We can't afford ink at that price. That's almost half again what it cost last month. That's not my problem, lad. But we won't be able to publish the Gazette. How will the citizens get news of the war? I have to eat too. Are you buying the ink or not? Not. Good day to you then. <gasps> How did you do that? I have brought a white man. Do you speak English? My name is Sarah Phillips. My name is Samuel. Samuel Phillips. Father? Sarah, my Sarah. I thought you went back to London. Father? Whiskers? Look at you! <laughs> I suppose I no longer look the proper British officer. But Sarah, the war! I wrote to you telling you to return to your mother. Your mother. Is she... well? Yes, Father. She's well. She's answered none of my letters. And neither have you. I was afraid... I've received just two letters, Father. Nothing since 75. That's why I had to find you. It's a miracle that you did. Sarah, have you fallen in love with this land as I have? Look at this place. Walking where no Englishman has walked before. Living with my hands. Not taking orders from anyone. Left, right, left, right, left, right. <laughs> Attain, hot! <laughs> you must tell me about yourself, Sarah. Look at you. I barely know you. Come, start as we walk back to the village. There's a tribal council I must attend with my friend, Chief Cornstalk. citizens of Philadelphia urgently request that the local militia expel from our town all disaffected persons and their supporters. You know what disaffected persons are? Working people who don't want to be poor, who want to feed their kids and aren't afraid to say so. <laughs> we are the good citizens of Philadelphia. We're the real patriots. We're supporting this war on our backs. The rich want us to shut our mouths while their children stuff themselves. The rich people are not playing by the rules of our new country. All we want is a fair shake. Come to a meeting at Patty Burns Tavern at nine tomorrow and tell everyone you know. And I'll report on the meeting in the Pennsylvania Gazette. Excellent, lad. You rich man, are you scared of us poor working Americans? 
Maybe you're right to be scared. We must fight the Americans. Why should we honor the Treaty of Camp Charlotte? The Americans haven't. They're supposed to let us live north of the Ohio River in peace. But they burn our fields. They cut down trees. They slaughter game for sport. They shoot at us on our shore. Why must we turn our backs when we're injured? We're losing our land, our lives, our self-respect. I don't say we should attack the Americans if they leave us alone. I say we should protect ourselves if they attack us, or else we will be destroyed. I gave my word to the Americans that we would remain at peace. So did many of you. I have never gone back on my word, have you? But one thing concerns me even more than my honor as a man, the survival of my people. If we fight the Americans, they will come at us until they destroy us. We do not have the strength to drive them out. Our best hope is that the Americans lose the white man's war to the English. I am a warrior. It is hard for me not to fight the Americans, but if we can survive this war and the English win, we will give our sons and our daughters and their sons and daughters a chance to survive too. Played, Sarah. Sarah, you would be a good Shawnee. Why, thank you, Ilinipsico. That's a high compliment, Sarah. They believe most white people are bad people. Our grandmothers told us so. I haven't met your grandmother. Our grandmother is the Shawnee's god. Oh. <laughs> Our grandmother watches over us. She gives us good harvests and hunting trips and victory in games. Hornsock! Red Feather, what is it? Hornsock! Our fishing party! American soldiers! I alone am alive. We must move our village again. No! We must defend ourselves! People are enraged by the Americans' violence. I don't know if I can keep the peace any longer. I am bound by honor to tell the Americans that. I must go to Fort Randolph. My son will go with me. Let me go too. I know the commander, Matthew Arbuckle. Maybe I can help. Let's send him a message they can't ignore. Three years ago, James Wilson signed the Declaration of Independence. Now, he's a British sympathizer who's robbing us blind. I say we take Wilson, tar and feather him, and ride him out of town on a rail. Yeah! 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 Let's go. I want you boys away from trouble. Wait! Don't do it! Uh-oh. The journalist! I thought you were with us. I am with you. I'm with you that there needs to be justice for everyone. But this isn't justice. This is wrong. You don't just grab someone and hurt him. I'm starting to think maybe there's another one who needs tar and feathering. Forget the boy. Let's get Wilson. Get him, boys! Get, get, get Wilson! Let's go! Yeah! Father? Yes, Sarah. Are you English? Or are you American? How many times I've asked myself the same question. The men at the fort consider me an American frontiersman now. And so do I. I'm not sure Mother would be happy to hear that. Nor am I. But I fell in love with this country just like I fell in love with her. 
It's freedom, sir. American freedom. I've traveled the world and there's nothing like it anywhere. And you, Sarah, are you an American? Ah, uh, I'd hope seeing you would convince me that I'm not. Come. Fort Randolph. What will happen to the Shawnees if the Americans win the war? I don't want to think about it. James Wilson had been warned that he was the mob's target and withdrew into his sturdy home with 20 supporters. Come out, Wilson, before we have to destroy your pretty house! Call for the cannon! I will return to my people and urge them to leave this area, but they might attack you instead. So, Chief, you're telling me it's possible that any second now we could be at war with the Shawnee? Yes, I have warned you, and now we will go. You're lucky you're a retired British major, Sam, or I'd have to throw you in the guardhouse with my new enemies here. Take them, and keep them safe. But Matthew! Sir! Cornstalk came here in peace and honor to warn you about the very people he tried to talk out of attacking you. Sam, I suggest you take your daughter as far from this place as you can. Joseph Reed, president of our city's executive council, led his light horse in breaking up the crowd. Five men died in the Fort Wilson riot and 17 were wounded. James Wilson is not an angel, but in our new nation, everyone has the right to due process of law. Just as the writer of this piece, who was threatened with bodily harm for daring to take issue with the mob, has the right, nay, the responsibility to write the truth as he sees it. In the United States of America, we, the people, have the freedom to write what we want to write. I lost you for six years, Sarah. I'll not risk losing you forever. We couldn't help Cornstalk in Elenipsico, something for which I will forever be sorry. What will happen to them, Father? They'll probably be held as hostages and traded to the Shawnee for American prisoners. Run! Robert Gilmore! The Shawnee killed him! In the fort! I fear for our friends' lives. They wouldn't. Illinipsico. I will never understand white men. They have no rules, no honor. The war has been a disaster for the Shawnee. What will happen to us, Father? We will fight the Americans and be destroyed. And what will happen to us? Maybe the Americans will trade us for soldiers. Maybe they will kill us. If they do, since we are warriors, our souls will enjoy a special place with our grandmother in heaven, where we will feast and dance forever. I said, don't touch the Shawnees. We can swap them for our own. No, Captain. We're going to do to them what they did to Robert. Elenipsico, I've seen you grow to manhood. I'm proud of the man you become. Vengeance for our great chief and his son. We will make the river safe for our fishermen to fish in and our children to bathe in. We will drive the white man from the valley of Ohio forever. <laughs> Father! What kind of land is this? Will the fighting never stop? Sarah, listen to me. Listen to me. I was deceiving myself thinking you and your mother could join me here. The Ohio frontier is too wild. I would like to take you out of here now myself, but I can't. I must help my Shawnee friends through this difficult time. I made a solemn promise to Cornstalk that I would do so. But what if... 
I will survive this war. This too, I promise. And so will you, Sarah. Father, I... I want to go home. To Philadelphia. To England. To Mother. I can't bear the violence anymore, Father. Can you forgive me? There's nothing to forgive. I'll be happy to have you far away from the fighting. When the war is over, you and your mother will join me in New York or Massachusetts or Connecticut, and we will live our lives as we please together. What if we don't want to come? Then I shall say goodbye to this land I love and join you and your mother in England. I wonder whether she'll like me in whiskers. Dearest Sarah, James, Henri, and Moses, now that the work of achieving a treaty with France is complete, I find my duties have become even more considerable than before. Articles to write, funds to raise, boring soirees with fine gentlemen in powdered wigs. Fiddlesticks, forget this war for a moment. How I miss you all, and how I look forward to being reunited soon in the city I love, with the people I love. How I long for the day when we shall merrily dance and sing together. I shall play my fiddle, badly of course, but no matter, because all of us, we dear, dear friends, will be living together in freedom in our new nation.